Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here, and I have something really exciting today from Logitech. This is the Spotlight Presentation Remote. So it says here it's Professional Slide Navigation, Control, Highlight, Magnify. And I had a chance to see this in action uh, a little bit um, earlier in the week. And it's, yes, it's a presentation remote for, you know, like things like PowerPoint presentations, slide presentations. But Logitech has taken it in a, in a totally new direction with a lot of new technology. Um, really, really cool, really cool device. It's, it's kind of like the next generation of uh, presentation remotes. So I'm going to review this for betanews.com. I'm going to test this with both my Mac and my Windows machine. There is software for both. Uh, but first, I need to unbox it. So that's what we're going to go ahead and, and do. As you can see, it says now for resale. This is a uh, review unit from Logitech. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the box. We can find the tape. So there's tape on the side here. It's going to slide down, cut that on both sides. Okay. All right, let's look at the back too. So highlight and magnify on screen, more advanced than a laser pointer. That's actually really neat because rather than pointing like physically at a single display, if you are presenting to an audience that's remote, so let's say, let's say, you know, your presentation audience is 100 people, but only 10 of them were in the room. The other 90 are at their desks or at their other remote locations. You can kind of magnify and highlight things on the screen so the whole audience can see them, not only the people in the room. Uh, cursor control to play video. So you can actually use this as a mouse pointer. So if there is video embedded, you don't have to go back to the laptop to hit play on the video. You can use this to go to the cursor and go right to, to you know, click on the video to play it. Timer with vibration alert. That's a really neat feature where you can tell it, okay, my presentation needs to be five minutes long and the remote will vibrate at the time that you tell it to let you know that you've reached your time or your time is coming close, you know, to kind of wrap things up. Quick charge in one minute for three hours of use. That's, in, that's insane. So if the, if the remote was totally dead, you charge it for one minute and you have three hours of use. Awesome. And 100 feet of range. So if you're worried about in a big conference room walking around a room and using this, do not worry because it'll work from 100 feet. That's really awesome. So let's go ahead and, and try to open this up. Uh, oh, I do want to show here that it is Bluetooth, but it also comes with a USB dongle if you want to use it on a machine that doesn't have Bluetooth or you just prefer USB for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now this will come in silver, space gray, and gold. Logitech has sent me the gold model. I'm just going to put this to the side just for a moment. We can look at what else is in the box. So it says, download software to activate, highlight, and magnify, and timer at logitech.com slash spotlight. So you pull this down. Is there anything else in here? Does the box pull out? Oh, that does. Okay, so the box pulls out. Oh, and this is actually really neat. Um, you tech guys out there will appreciate this. Is that, you know, you probably were wondering, how does this charge? And there's a, there's a, uh, a port in the bottom that'll show, but... It is USB Type-C. It's a USB-C connector. So Logitech has really looked forward with this. Um, it's not a micro USB. It's nothing proprietary. It's USB Type-C. So if you have a new MacBook Pro, I, I just purchased a MacBook Pro. It only has USB Type-C ports. You can charge this off your MacBook Pro. That's awesome. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Also in here, in the box, we have a leather carrying case. So this would slip in. And I'll show, after we look at the remote, I'll, I'll put that into the pouch. Also in here is some safety guides, and I'm not gonna read safety guides, and, and I apologize to Logitech for doing this, but I'm not safe. I live dangerously. All right, so let's look at the remote itself. So the remote itself, this one is gold. It's all aluminum, and it's actually a solid piece of aluminum, the, the whole body. The body is like a solid piece machined aluminum. The dongle, now I'm gonna show, this is, this is actually really neat. This really impressed me when I saw it. This pulls out on the bottom, so there's like a little like lanyard piece here, but you pull this out, and this is a type A dongle. So if you don't have Bluetooth in your machine, um, and you want to plug this into like a Windows laptop that doesn't have Bluetooth or something like that, you do have a type A connector dongle here that you can use instead of Bluetooth. With that out, inside you can now see the type C connector. So when you're ready to charge this, this just plugs right into the bottom. 
and then you can charge it off of a type A port if you want. Isn't that really neat? If you have a, like I said earlier, if you have a Windows machine uh, or, or a Mac, let's say, that has USB Type-C, of course you can use a Type-C to Type-C cable as well instead. So Logitech has really thought of both, both, both people. So it uses Type-C in here for people that have Type-C connectors already. If you don't have a Type-C connector, you have this, which will plug it into a Type-A. So it's totally your choice of how you want to charge it. Since it's a standard USB Type-C, you don't have to worry about carrying some kind of specialty connector. If you already have a Type-C cable, it'll work on here. Very cool. So I'm just going to stick this back in. And let's look at the remote itself. Now I'm going to do a video of me using this remote because it's, it's actually rather impressive. But on the back here, we see it's all aluminum except for this part here. And I asked Logitech, well, how come there's like plastic on the back? And they told me it's twofold. So this is plastic for the Bluetooth purposes. The radios don't work good through aluminum. So you have the radios behind here, the antennas for the radios. Um, but also, uh, it's, it's a little bit more grippy. So if you were sweating doing a presentation, you're, let's say you're, you get nervous when you're doing presenting, it, you get extra grip back here as well. So it's, so it's twofold. It's actually a really nice design. And I like how the white here, this plays off of this. It's nice. It's a really nice design. So there's, there's only three buttons, and that's kind of the genius of this. There's no laser pointer or anything at the top. Um, there, there's, there's a, a button to, Proceed. There's a button to go back, and there's also a media button, and you can even you. It even has um, uh, the capability, almost like a like a Wiimote from a Nintendo Wii, where using uh, movements, if you hold down a button, you can do the volume up and down on your Mac or Windows machine. Isn't that isn't that neat? So let's say you're you're doing a presentation. You hit you hit play on the video that you're presenting, and it's like totally insanely too loud. Rather than like freak out and have to run back to your laptop, you hold down the button and you just with a gesture of your hand like this, the volume goes down. You need to raise it up because it's too low. You just raised your wrist and it makes it look like you're very professional. And once you get used to using this, the idea is that it becomes second nature and you're not having to even think about how to do this. But you see here, this next button is kind of the um, star of the show. It's, it's white and it's kind of bigger here. But isn't that a beautiful remote? Oh, and as I, as I did promise, I want to put that into the leather carrying case. So I'm not sure, it, it looks like real leather and it actually feels really nice. I'm assuming it's gonna slide in. I would, I would, if it was me, I would probably slide it in like that. Right? And then can I pull it out with that? Yeah, so this dongle does pull out but not, you have to give it a little bit of a pull. So if you did want to put this in here, you can then pull it out like so without necessarily, if you were holding it, you could pull that out, but just pulling it out, nice. And that's how I would put it in. Of course, you could probably put it in this way as well, but then you might, you know, then you have to kind of put your fingers in there to pull it out. Either way is fine though. So that's the unboxing of this of this really, really cool remote, and I'm really excited about it. And it's designed for presentations, but I gotta be honest with you folks, let's say in your downtime you wanna watch a movie or listen to music, this would be a really good remote. Let's say you have, you're listening to iTunes, you're listening to your favorite song, and you need to turn down the volume. You can use this with motion controls to turn the volume up and down. It doesn't only have to be used for media purposes, uh, for, for presentation purposes. And it also doesn't have to be used only in presentation software. So I did confirm at Logitech that this overlay of, of zooming in and highlighting things could be used on any software in the operating system. So if you were, let's say, a professional trainer and you were teaching somebody how to use software, like let's say a gr in a group setting, you could point to something, highlight it, um, let's say, um, basically anything. Let's say you're trying to teach somebody how to use Microsoft Word in a training class. You can then highlight things in the top menus to show them what to select. It's actually very genius. It's a, it's a very great design. I'm very impressed. And I, and I think, if I recall, on a full charge, this could last like three months. So this, it's, it's very small. It's very light. It's very elegant. And I think this would be really a really good thing to keep in a bag if you're a professional. Especially if you do a lot of presentations. But like I said, the, the real magic here is that it'll work with um, an audience that's working or viewing things remotely. Isn't that beautiful, folks? So there you go. Once again, this the, the, the name of the product is the Spotlight Presentation Remote. It's the Logitech Spotlight Presentation Remote. 
a professional presentation remote for both Windows and Mac. Uh, I don't know if this will work on Linux. Uh, definitely the software for um, highlighting, magnifying, things like that is not available for Linux, but this might work. I'd have to test it, of course, um, but it might work for basic functionality, such as going forward and back on slides. All right, folks. Well, that's the video of the unboxing. Keep checking back. I will review this for betanews.com, and I will do a separate video of me actually using the remote. That's what I want to show you guys is me uh, adjusting the volume and progressing slides. Um, I think I have some old slides from when I was in college um, saved um, on, a, on a drive. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.